Hi, my name is Modoni Drummer Queen, an artist and creative entrepreneur from Nairobi, that's the capital city of Kenya. Welcome to my home and let me introduce you to some amazing creative entrepreneurs that you definitely need to learn about. So, Carol, it's really good to see you. Maybe you could tell me a little bit about the work you do at Lemon Slice. Okay, so I'm actually a company director, but for the purposes of um, film, which is the department that I work in, I am a producer, and the job of a producer literally encapsulates everything from before an idea exists until you see it in the cinema, and until it's sold for however long it's sold for. So I am the first person on the team before anybody else comes on board to make anything, whether you're making something for television, whether you're making something for film, which is cinema, or if you're making something for digital, um, when a director comes up with an idea, they need someone who can tell them how much it's going to cost, if it can even be executed. So they come to me and then I become now the first person who starts to build the team. Nice. So as a company, the idea is to constantly find people who are in those positions of we have ideas and we want to develop them and then now make that a bigger body of work that as a company we are producing for the continent. So Lemon Slice, I started in 2013, but uh, personally as a producer, I started at the age of 19. What? Yeah, so I've been at this game for, I want to say almost 20 years now. So I kind of worked my way up in the industry because I literally started at the bottom. So I've been behind the camera. I've done sound, I've done editing, and the advantage with that is now when you become a producer, you have a deeper understanding of the craft as a whole. Yeah. So you can literally listen to someone who's say an editor saying, I want to do this, then you'll be like, yeah, but I think this is what you should do. Yes. So in t from a leadership point of yeah. view, it gives you a lot to fall back on because you see the full vision before anyone comes to pitch their idea to you. That's a really remarkable journey. And you've spent uh, the whole of your career as an independent uh, filmmaker, producer? So I started out working for other companies and um, for those who don't know in Kenya there really hasn't been film schools or like formal training exactly. so a lot of us who started back in the 90s literally learnt on the job so watching other people do it but then many years later about six seven years later I went to film school in South Africa where I formalized my training and throughout even when I started I did start on set I literally started behind a camera doing the hands-on work so when I got to school, I kind of did that as a theory and then I worked my way into producer because once I had the theory, I'm the kind of person who within a year I get bored. Mm. So once I've learned the skill, I want to move up to the yeah. next level. So where I've gotten to now, having yeah. worked for companies and freelancers, freelancing and all of that, I now just work for myself. So the projects that I do, I'm yeah. basically the boss. Nice. <laughs> what can you tell us about, you know, sort of your some insights uh, over the years has the sector grown is there more creative work being produced now is there progress kind of like a state of uh, situation yeah. <laughs> yeah so when i started out there was a lot of foreign crews that were doing stuff here so from it, now if we talk about behind the camera yeah. So now what we have is we're hiring here. We're hiring in-house because the standard of quality when it comes to skill is the same. We don't have to go to South Africa for a director or a DOP because we have directors and DOPs here who are actually on the same level as them. When we talk about in front of the camera, we are now at a stage where before we didn't have enough content for our actors or we didn't have enough local stories that we could put our own actors in. So now we're in a position where many years later we can do that. Still, we are not at the point where we can meet the demand because it's a very high demand now for African content. Mm. But because of from a funding perspective, we don't have enough money or enough investors to invest in all the ideas so that we can build the capacity mm. so that we can produce more stories. We are literally not quite there yet. But the interesting thing is we are expected by the world to be at the level of Nigeria and South Africa. Mm. And our industry is the youngest. Mm -hmm. And so for us, it's a very tall order. Mm -hmm. So we are going out there. So some, that's why someone like me will do like film and TV and uh, news and ev literally every medium so that we can meet that demand. Well, in a place like South Africa, you can literally just be a film producer or just be a commercials producer. Gotcha. So it's a good time and very exciting time to be in the industry because 
because there's a lot more of us now, a lot more ideas, a lot more capacity. What we need is a lot more investment so that we can meet that demand. Nice. Mm. Thank you for your time. Mm. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah.